Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, and I know it's a little bit late, but it's about time I did my Blue Fairy ticket pulls from this past Deluxe PvP week. So, where did I end up last week? Alright, here we go. This is where I ended up. So, I was actually five minutes before reset. I was actually top 1000, sitting at spot like 600 or something like that. And then right at the very end, I got sniped. I tried to log into a different battle just to hold my position, but I got sniped, and then right before reset, I dropped from 600 to 1,198th. So that's really unfortunate. I lost a silver ticket, but I still keep the two gold tickets, which is still really good, and then I still get three chances at silver tickets, which again, I have no complaints about. It's still a really good opportunity, uh, but it's like, oh man, got sniped right at the end there. So that was really unfortunate, but I mean, I will take what I can get, especially since, um, especially since I still got the gold tickets, which is the real value for PvP. Um, I talked about it a little bit in the Prime Illustrated Roxas banner, but when we look at the draw ratios for silver tickets, there's really only a 15% chance of getting a blue fairy of a tier 6 or higher, which is where it starts becoming really relevant. Uh, for the tier 5 blue fairies, they're becoming less relevant because the only things that you're going to use those uh, tier 5 blue fairies for are for bringing up a medal to 7 stars that already has perfect traits or for the backwards copy key art. So key art sky, key art beginning, and key art bonds. So those are your real targets for those uh, level 5, or I'm sorry, the tier 5 blue fairies. Um, and then obviously there's tier 4, but now that we have tier 5s that are pullable, come max guilted, and have a skill already attached to them, those tier 4s are slowly starting to dwindle, especially since there are no copies for tier 4 minus, I believe it's the Lion Pete, or I don't know if it's a Lion Pete, it's more like Hyena Pete, uh, but yeah, so... Really, when it comes to things that are relevant, you have a 15% chance of pulling something good from the silver ticket, as opposed to the gold ticket, which is super relevant, because that is not the draw rate I'm looking for. Okay, I I don't know. I apparently apparently we can get uh apparently we can get incredibles from the uh from the gold ticket banner. Hmm. I clicked the right thing, right? Yeah, all right. Gold ticket draw, draw odds. Yeah, okay, so I mean, if you pull a Prime Mr. Incredible from this banner, you know, nothing but kudos to you. That is a crazy pull to be pulling for, to be pulling for blue fairies and getting a Mr. Incredible. Hmm. If you get that, props to you. You deserve that Mr. Incredible. <laughs> uh, but with that being said, so the gold ticket draws only come with tiers 5 to 8, and I believe it's a 60% chance of getting a tier 6, tier 7, or tier 8. I think it's something like 30, 20, 10 when it comes to the breakdown. Tier 6 is getting 30%, tier 7 is getting 20, and then tier 8 is being 10%. Uh, so the gold tickets are really where it's at, and that's the most important part, so I'm glad I was able to keep two. Alright, with that being said, we have waited long enough. Let's go ahead and do our polls per request of one of the commenters from the last video we will skip the bronze tickets and go straight into silver if we had space so let's go ahead and make some space really quickly i should have done this before this video so let's go ahead and sell these guys because we don't need them and then let's head back and do our pulls all right here's the first silver ticket i'm still missing one tier eight blue fairy so i'm hoping to get at least out of all of this just one tier 8 blue fairy and I would be happy because I'd be able to make something really really strong so let's see what we got we got oh we got a 7 from a silver we take those very nice all right I can't complain about a tier 7 in a silver ticket uh, we also got a tier 5 which is still good uh, but again not exactly what we're looking for so we're aiming for the 15% that's gonna be a tier 6 a tier 7 or a tier 8 so here we go. We've got two more silver and two more gold. Let's hope we can get at least one tier eight blue fairy. Oh geez. Oh, what's happening? Let's go ahead, head back here. So we did our one silver ticket and then the game's just like, now nah, we're gonna crash. We are going to break on you. Uh, so let's go here and then wait till the shop opens. That was really unfortunate. Oh, hang on. Gotta take a screenshot of that. And then I think we just hop right back into the shop. 
All right, with that being said, we are back to pulling for our silver tickets. Um, we've got, again, two, or I'm sorry, one more silver. What happened? What did I even get from the last one? Oh my gosh, it cut out. It cut out midway through the pull. What did we get? Um, what did we get in terms of our silver ticket? We just lost. Did we lose a pull or something? Um, I'm not really sure what we got from that silver ticket. Some tier 5s, maybe a tier 4? I'm really not sure. Wow, that really sucks. Alright, so going forward, we've got one more silver ticket and two more gold tickets. Um, and I'm really, I'm really not sure what happened. I guess, like, it was doing the pull, and then the video shorted out. So let's go ahead, pull our next silver ticket, our last silver ticket. So this is... The third ticket. We didn't get the tier 8 because we only had four tier 8s. Uh, so let's see what we get on our last silver ticket pull. So on the silver ticket, our last one, we get another 7. Okay, nice. So we got one 7, a bunch of 3s. The 3s are garbage because you can bronze ticket those. Uh, the 7 is really where it's at. So no complaints about that 7 because we have some good tier 7s that we can bring up to 7 stars. Alright, here it is, everyone. Moment of truth. Let's see if we can get a tier 8 from one of these two golden tickets. Unfortunately, it is not going to buy us a trip into the Willy Wonka factory, but if we can get a tier 8, that would be super sweet to bring up one of those tier 8s to 7 stars. So we get... Ooh, okay. No tier 8s. We have two new tier 6s, two new tier 5s, and then one tier 7. So unfortunately, we're pulling from the low end here, uh, getting those two tier 5s, which are like 40% each, um, and then the tier 6s, which are like 30% each, and the tier 7, which is 20%. But we got one more shot at a gold ticket. Here we go. All right, let's see if we can just, let's see if we can cross our fingers, close our eyes, and just open up to the most amazing blue fairy pull of all time. So I see it, you know, well, I don't see it because my eyes are closed, uh, but let's see if we can pull at least one tier eight blue fairy. So we're going to get, yes, okay, so unfortunately the rest of it, we got two tier fives, two tier sixes, but we got our one tier eight blue fairy, which was the goal for today. So now if we hop back to our evolved medals, we have five tier eight blue fairies three tier seven blue fairies we brought up i don't know how many we started with but we now have six tier six blue fairies 16 tier five blue fairies and then everything else um so that was pretty good i'm glad i got my one tier eight blue fairy that was the goal for the day especially with uh you know the pvp ranking having more rewards last week so super excited about that I'm not really sure what to bring up right now. I feel like the obvious choice is to guilt this invisible and just bring this thing up to to uh, seven stars in order to wreak havoc on my enemies. Uh, but yeah, still have some time to decide. I also have Sora and Simba that has the ground, which is going to be super good. But obviously an invisible with extra attack is just going to deal just so much damage. Um, so with that being said, those are my tier 8 blue fairy pulls for the week, um, for the deluxe PvP week. If there are any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to drop them down in the comments below, and I would be happy to reply. But I have to edit this video a little bit. I hope it turns out okay, because I'm not very good at editing videos, but hopefully it turns out okay. And then, as always, everyone, until the next video, take it easy.